Good morning, welcome to I'm Sammy the Hongqi, and these are my two members. She is Sherry Zhang Yan, and she is Sophie Cai Xingzhe. Today, our topic is service inquiries. And first, this is our content. First, I will do the warming up with you together, and then Sophie and I will play scenario one. And to continue, Sherry uh, will discuss the discussion questions with you. And then Sophie and Sharon will play activity one. Finally, Sharon will explain the differences between high and low contest culture. And then we will give you five minutes, minutes break and we need you to come up here to give us comments. And then I'll play a video to show our inside stories. And Sophie will announce the best commentators. Finally, we all will come up here and give you feedback. Let's start with the warming up, which is on your textbook, page 36. What do you think is an incentive travel? Do you think it's a reward or a form of recognition? The answer is, it's a reward. And the second question is, why should we offer an incentive travel? Well, um, the travel opportunities provides actual in incentive and build excitement. And the second question is, are there any positive impacts on productivity? Sure, the incentive trouble exists to motivate employees and increase productivity and sales. The third question is, what do, which one you think is better? Is a uh, incentive trouble, a trouble incentive or a monetary incentive? Our group thinks that the trouble incentive is better based on these four reasons. The first one is it provides unforgettable experiences. And the second one is because it has freedom and flexibility. The third one is because it is a wellness trouble. And the last one is because it provides networking opportunity. And for further details, Trina will discuss with you in the discussion questions part. And then Sophie will tell you some vocabularies that in the scenario one. Good morning, my name is Sophie. Now I'm going to introduce five, six vocabularies to you. The first one is a wide range of in the same as the variety of please drink the afternoon. A wide range of a variety of. And the definition is a lot of things that are different from each other. And as a sentence, his reading covers a wide range of subjects. His reading covers a wide range of subjects. And the second one is package. 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 In our scenario, in definition is a related group of things when they are offered together as a single unit. And this is a sentence. Now, the city fields will travel on package tour who spend their money at home. Now the city fills with travelers on package tours who spend their money at most. And then has another meaning is an object will be paper or package in box. The next one is in box. In box. And its definition is arriving or coming in. And it's the sentence is, we expect delay to both inbound and outbound trains. We expect delays to both inbound and outbound trains. Next one is outbound. And outbound. And its definition is going out or leaving. And the sentence is, there has been an increased inbound traffic leaving Toronto Airport to a Caribbean resort. There, there has been an increase in outbound traffic leaving Toronto Airport for all of Caribbean resources. And next one is incentive travel. Incentive travel. This definition is an allocation award to employees as a bonus in order to motivate them. This sentence incentive travel is a business travel that seeks to motivate employees. Incentive travel is a business travel that seeks to motivate employees. Next one is pro 
brochure. Brochure. Its definition is a small book or magazine containing pictures or information about the product or service. And as you can see, this brochure has many information and pictures in this book. And the sentence is the brochure contains a comprehensive list of activity to do while we stay in Boston. The brochure contains a comprehensive list of activities to do while we stay in Boston. And this is the end of my part. Next, Sammy will continue to introduce another five characters. Okay, so the first vocabulary is urban. It means in or out of the city or town. Please repeat after me. Urban. Urban. And the, the sentence of it is over 82% of taxis live in urban areas. Over 82% of taxis live in urban areas. The next vocabulary is rural. 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 It means in or out of the countryside. And the example is the area is still very rural and undeveloped. The area is still very rural and undeveloped. And the third one is duration. Duration. It means the length of something less. And the example is he planted a stay of two years duration. He planted a stay of two years duration. The next vocabulary is minimize. Minimize. It means to reduce something to the smallest possible amount. And the example is, we do all that we can to minimize the risk of inflection. We do all that we can to minimize the risk of inflection. The last one is adaptation. It means adaptation. Adaptation. It means to re uh, adjust to different conditions or to meet different situations. And the example is, Evaluation occurs as a result of adaptation of to new environments. Evaluation occurs as a result of adaptation to new environments. Okay, next I and Sophie will play scenario one. A lot of this time, basically we offer a wide range of package of for incentive travel, what kind of information would you like to know? We are thinking of arranging an incentive travel for our, for our annual plan sales people at the end of this year. And this is our first time to organize this type of trip. We hope this package can be very low top, with low top sales figures and at the same time encourage and motivate all the employees to generate more profit for our in the future. I see this time. Okay, before I introduce our package, I may need some more details for your needs. Around how many people are there in the group? And will that be uh, inbound or outbound travel too? Well, there will be 120 person at least, and perhaps more will join later. And our preference is for travel, travel to foreign country if possible. Okay, do you prefer urban or rural sites for your destination? Sorry, we haven't really talked about that yet. What do you suggest? Well, since your duration is quite short, I would recommend Hong Kong or Singapore. They are quite close to Taiwan and have similar social and cultural background to Taiwan. So it's easy to minimize possible adaptation problems. Have you ever arranged any package to Hong Kong or Singapore? Yes, our industry professionals in these places are well experienced in hosting incentive travel and some even provide extra service for those who arrange incentive travels there. Do you want me to email you a detailed brochure for reference? Oh yes, that would be helpful. I will get back to you later after we have a chance to discuss it further. And thank, and thank you so much for your help. Sure, no problem, anytime. And this is the end of our scenario one. And I will give the floor to Sharon. She will in charge of the discussion questions. And this will come Sharon. Good morning, I'm Sharon Zhang Dianning. 
I'm going to in charge of the discussion questions. There will, be, there will be two questions in this part. The first question is, if you were a sales representative in first incentive travel, arranging an incentive travel for other companies, how would you help them? I would say there are eight steps that you can follow. First, briefing. It means the inquiry form that you receive from your customers. Second, confirmation. Being as a sales representative in an incentive travel company, you need to get in touch with your clients to see if there is any questions. Now we can move to the next step, brainstorm. In this step, your team will gather together in order to create a unique travel experience. The fourth step will be proposal. We will send our best proposal to our customers by email. After that, we will schedule a follow-up call to discuss the further information about this incentive travel and to tailor the proposed program to meet their budget or lacking. After that, we will go to the site inspection. This step is optional. Site inspection means that we inspect the destination beforehand. The seventh step will be booking. In this step, we will send the agreement for our customer to sign. Then the final step will be execute. In this step, we advise to have a dedicated program manager to go with you in order to oversee a smooth travel experience and manage any additional problems. If you can follow these eight steps to arrange an incentive travel, then you can be successful to arrange a wonderful travel experience. Now let's move on to the next questions. What kind of extra service can an incentive travel company provide in order to attract more potential customers in the future. First of all, you need to plan an unforgettable experience. Plan an experience that the employee cannot get elsewhere. For example, something interesting or something new. Then the second one would be uh, that the employee feel free and flexible is really important. Provide a flexible schedule and that the employees to explore the new surroundings. The third one will be a wellness travel. It is increasingly common for employees to desire an incentive that will make them more refreshed and healthier. For example, the outdoor adventure or the spa days. Finally, networking opportunities. For some, a company getaway isn't all about relations. There are those who still want some business aspect an opportunity to grow. Therefore, providing an opportunity to interact with other business professionals then could be highly appreciated. If you can remind these four points in your mind, then you can attract more potential customers in the future. Now that's the end of the discussion questions part. Next, Sophie and I will going to continue to the activity one. We will have a dialogue based on this part, and please listen carefully about the content, because we will ask you some questions after that. Hey, Sophie, I just received a mail from Diamond Production Company. They asked if we could help them to arrange an incentive travel for their annual best sales email. Oh, and then they weren't going to plan to go. Well, they prefer to head out on April 1st next year and will stay for five days. Their desired destinations are Okinawa and Hawaii. And they motivate and want to create overall motivation, improve the positive culture and reward team performance after this trip. So maybe they want to have some relevant events. Right, it seems that they feel like going to island country. Well, you can see that they ask us to arrange a beach volleyball and they also ask us to have a host for this event. I see, they also need a photographer, right? I will contact David if he has time in April. Oh, thanks. And there will be 120 in attendance. The age range is from 25 to 45. Wow, that's a lot. They also ask us to prepare review on drinks. The part, this part will be a little bit tricky. We can start to look for suppliers that can meet our requirements. Wait, what's their maximum total budget per person? This will be 9,000 USD for one person. 
I think we would have we will have a meeting with Diamond Production Company next week since their final proposal submission deadline is on December 28th. Roger that. I will start to prepare the resources that we need for the meeting. Sure, see you next week. And this is the end of our activity conversation. And now I'm going to ask you some questions about our inquiry form. If you know the answer, please raise your hand. And the first one is, does anyone know the company's name? Is Sally? Diamond Production Company. Yes, the answer is Diamond Production Company. And the next one is, does anyone know the first point of the contact detail? Sally? It's an incentive travel for our annual best sales person at the end of this year. Excellent. The answer is the incentive travel for our annual best sales people at the end of this year. The next question is, does anyone know the end by industry? Production. Yes, the answer is production. And the next question is, does anyone know the arrive and departure? First day is April 1st, 2019. And we have five days, so it's April 5th, 2019. Good. <laughs> Yes, they need a photographer. And the final word is hospitality. That's this will be after. Hospitality. Yes. 
And you can find it in a hotel. And if you have any question about book room or you want to get more information, you can go there and ask them. And the next one is, does anyone know the budget for the person? Yeah, the answer is 9,000 USD. And next is, does anyone know the special request date? For host and refuse on drinks. Good, the answer is they need a host and they need a refuse on drinks. And next, the high level is a site inspection. Please repeat after me. A site inspection. The definition is you have scheduled your site visit in advance and to make sure that place that you need to go are available. And this is the end of our inquiry form. And next I'll give the floor to Sharon. She will continue to talk about the high and low contest culture. It has been said that when Americans want to say 100 things, they will verbalize 150 things, for they are explicit in their use of language and communication. When the Japanese verbalize 70 things, they are trying to get the other person to understand 100, for they are using implicit understandings and at times nonverbal cues to get their point across. Cultures can be separated into two groups with regard to communication. High context cultures such as East Asian, Latin American, Southern Mediterranean, and Arab countries were commonly homogeneous, sharing a history of common values and assumptions. When people of high context cultures communicate, it is not necessary for them to say everything explicitly. Nonverbal cues often communicate what is not said, and silence can have great meaning. In parallel to this are low context cultures, such as America, Canada, and Western European countries. These communicators prefer clear descriptions, unambiguous communication, and are highly specific. Low context communicators do not rely or trust relationships in business communication. Instead, they rely more on the spoken or written word. mentioned the high contest cultural countries. They are East Asian, South Mediterranean, Arab countries, and Latin America. On the contrary, low contest cultural countries, they are Western Europe, Canada, and America. To continue, high contest cultural people are implicit. Their nonverbal cues often communicate what is not said. However, people from low contest cultural country, they are they are more explicit. They, expre they express things really clearly. They prefer the clear description and rely on the spoken and written word. Let's go back to the inquiry form that we talked about before. Here is a question asking about whether to go to the site inspection or not. If the person from low context cultural country wants to refuse it, he or she will say no directly. However, if the person is from high context cultural country, he or she won't say no directly. For example, the Japanese will say chotto when they are going to refuse someone. If you have learned Japanese before, you may be familiar with this kind of expressions. Okay, in today's presentation, we have mentioned that what incentive travel is, the process of the making an incentive travel, and the high-low contest culture. We hope you learned from today's presentation. Now we will have a 10 minutes break time. After break time, we would like to invite each group to give us your comment. Thank you. And let's welcome group one to give our comments. And let's welcome group one. Hello, everyone. We are group one. And my name is 
张学成 Dora. This is Wu Zhirou Zoi, and this is Queen Na Liao Ziping. Today we divide our comments into three parts. First, I will talk about the PowerPoint design and the discussion part. Next, Zoi will talk. Zoi will in charge of the Hello Contest culture and the vocabulary part. And finally, Queen Na will focus on their activity parts and make a conclusion. For now, I'm going to talk about their PowerPoint design. <laughs> uh, in the content page, I noticed that they use different color on their names. That is different from other groups. So I can more easily know who is who will in charge of which parts? And besides, in their scenario parts, they underline the words that we just learned from their vocabulary parts, and it helped me to think about whether I understand the meaning of the words or not, and know better how to use the words in the sentences. And their discussion parts. I really like the eight steps and the way Sharon told us. She not only she not only told us the eight steps, but also explained how to do in each step. For example, the second step, uh, confirmation. We need to get in touch with the clients or others to see if there is any question. And as for the second question of discussion parts, um, they show us four services to attract more potential customers. And these four services, these four ways are not, um, uh, these four ways are not only the the reason they think travel incentive is better than monetary incentive. For example, um, we can try to create unforgettable experiences and uh, establish a flexible schedule and provide an outdoor advantage. At, at, outdoor adventure and provide an opportunity to interact with other business professionals. So I really think this is uh, helpful and uh, useful for me. This is the end of my part. Next, I would like to give the floor to Zoe. I am Zoe Wu Zhirou. I am in charge of the vocabulary part and hello context culture. First, Sandy and Sophie introduce the vocabulary fluently, and I learned a lot of words from them. For example, minimize means reduce something to the smallest, and inbound means to travel in to travel toward a particular point. And when Sophie introduced the, explained the brochure, she shows us the real brochure to explain this word. I think this is very creative. And in Hello Context Culture Part, Sharon showed us a video about Hello Context Culture. And she tell us the difference between high context culture and low context culture. And she and the high context culture used to use nonverbal words to let people know what they think. And low context culture usually rely on spoken or written words. This is the end of my now let me give a flow to Quina. My name is Elsie. Now I'm going to focus on the contents of activity part. 
then I will make a brief conclusion. In their activity part, they provide us a very detailed inquiry form instead of the simple one in a textbook. I think that is very useful. The inquiry form contains a wide range of categories, including essentials, motivation, destination information, essential elements, site and time. And the last one is additional notes. I think that the form is very descriptive. Next time, if I have a chance to hold an incentive trouble, I will definitely follow Group 2's guideline. Now I would like to make a brief conclusion of our comments. First, Dora mentioned that it is very considerate of them to use different colors on their names. Also, they underline the vocabularies and collocations which we just learned from their presentation. And the last one is the eight steps of the question discussion is very useful. As for Zoe's part, she learned a lot of vocabularies from the from Sophie's vocabulary part. Sophie also provides us an authentic, authentic brochure to give us a clear understanding. In the, in the high low context culture part, they showed us a video and explained the differences between the high context culture and low context culture. This is the end of our comments. Now I would like to give the floor to group three. question part most, especially the design of the question one. It's very eye-catching. That's the end of my comment. Now I will give the floor to Catherine. <coughs> I'm Catherine Xuanzhu. Now I'm going to focus on the individual stage performance. First I want to talk about Sandy. I think she was confident and she speaks fluently. And she was familiar with the content so she named. 
didn't forget any lines in her presentation. Next, I will talk about Sophie. And in the vocabulary part, she ex she used her own word to explain the meaning instead of only read the lines on the PowerPoint. And in the activity part, she was so considerate to mention some words that we might, might not know the meaning. And I think she explained these details well. And the last one, Sharon. She has a great pronunciation and her voice was loud and clear. And in her presentation, she always used a proper gesture. And I think she was well prepared and professional. To sum up, we have talked about their stage performance, the design of their PowerPoint, and the content. We think that group two really put a lot of effort in their presentation. Let's give them a big hand. She used her own word to explain the definition. Moreover, she gave us many sentences to support the vocabulary. Uh, the most impressive thing is that when she introduced the vocabulary, she showed us a real brochure. <laughs> she showed us a real brochure rather than just explain it. I think it is very considerate and. Uh, attractive to the audience. So all in all, I think I really admired her performance today. And this is the end of my comments. Next, I will give the floor to Sunny Xiaoxin. Hello everyone, I'm Sunny Xiaoxin. Now I will lay emphasis on Sharon's personal performance. First, she talked about eight steps of trip details that will remain for us to figure out, which is really impressive. Second, in the conversation of activity one, she spoke very fluently <coughs> and added vocal variety. She was confident and very professional. And the last, she gave us a clear explanation of differences between high context culture and low context culture. And this is very useful to me. Therefore, I admire her performance very much. This is the end of our comments. Next, I will give the floor to group five. I'm Gigi Chengqi. This is Ali Luanti. This is Sally Lin Today we separate our comment into three parts. First, I'm in charge of high level context culture, and Ali will focus on their contents. Finally, Sally will talk about their stage performance and have a brief conclusion. In high level context culture, I think they are well organized in, the, in this part. First, they showed us a video about 
difference between high-low contest culture when the pe when the people in these two different culture thinking and express their ideas. Later, Sharon lists some key points from the video. For example, high contest culture people do not say everything explicitly. In contrast, low contest culture people like to express their idea explicitly. I think this can make audience to know important information clearly. This is the end of my comments. Next, I will give the floor to Abby. I'm Abby Lowanti. I'm in charge of the content part. I think this group put a lot of effort to the participation, especially their discussion questions and activity part. For example, the first question in their discussion part, what three details will remain for you to figure out? The team used a very cute slide, like a map, to show us eight steps we can follow, including briefing, confirmation, <laughs> briefing, confirmation, brainstorm proposal, follow-up, site inspection, booking, and execute. In addition, this team also gave us get us a very complete conversation about incentive travel in activity part. Their conversation, their conversation is short, but it includes many information, like the, age, like the range of their employees' age and their special requests. This is one of the best presentations I saw. This is the end of my comment. Now I, I will give I am going to give my floor to you, Sally. Hello everyone, I'm Sally Lingjai. Now I will focus on their stage performance and give a brief conclusion. First, I want to talk about Sammy. Sammy looks more confident than before, and she looks not as nervous as the last time. And the next one is Sophie. It's very thoughtful she gives the real brochure <laughs> to us and not just explain in the uh, old world. Old and the last one is Sharon and she always has a smile on her face and she has a very appropriate movement and looks confident every time. In conclusion, we think they are very well prepared. I, they put a lot of effort in this time's presentation. And we all enjoy their performance this time. And this is our comments. And now we will give a floor to the group six. Hello everyone, we are group 6 and I'm Jay Zhong Mojie. These are my team members, Ada, Huang Yong Huang, Jun Li, Yan Li. And today we divided our cover into three parts. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be in charge of their PPT design. Ada will talk about their personal performance. And next, Jun will talk about we will focus on their overall performance. And in my part, I think their PPT arrangement is re really wonderful. And the, the, the point is very clear and easy, and it's also very easy to read. With their wonderful PPT design and great explanation, to be honest, it really helped me to learn a lot from them. Besides, all the pictures on their PPT were all related on what they're talking about. Look, all the picture, uh, all the picture is really is is related. Uh, uh, <laughs> all the picture is really helpful to us. To, to me to connect with their speech. 
it's really healthy to learn from their their pictures. And that's the end of my comments. Now I will get the floor to Anna. Thanks, Jay. I'm Anna Hongyong. I would like to talk about their personal performance. In the part of introduction, I think Sammy did a great job. She gave a good beginning for their presentation. She is able to gain audience attention and lead audience into their main topic about incentive travel. Insurance part, she can speak very fluently and at an appropriate speed. She do not have unwanted interjections, so her presentation sounds comfortable. Especially, she has sweet smiles while she was delivering her content. Lastly, Sophie. Sophie would be nervous and had unnatural poses in her previous speeches. However, she improves a lot. She can speak fluent, fluently now and maintain stable eye contact with the audience. This is my comment on their personal performance. Next, I will give the floor to Jin. Um, good morning, I'm Jin Yanli. Now I'm going to talk about group two's overall performance. Um, first of all, I want to um, focus on the uh, vocabulary part. I think that in the vocabulary part, they explain very clearly, and I also learned some new and useful words from them, like inbound and outbound. Inbound means like traveling to words towards a particular point. On the contrary, outbound, the definition of outbound is to travel away from a particular place. Besides, in the high-low context culture part, um, I think uh, they just showed us a video which il illustrates perfectly the distinction between high-low context culture. Then, group two also gave us a also gave us a sample of how did high-low context culture act differently when they are expressing their own ideas? Like, um, low context culture would not express their own idea clearly, but high context culture, people of high context culture like to say aloud how they think about uh, one thing. And let's, I think, oh you know, I think Rupture really did a great job and they all perform very well and professional. It's all of my comments, and now I'm going to give the floor to Group 7. Good morning, everyone. Here are Group 7. I'm Lauren Suisha. They are Cindy, Wumi, Kwek, and Fanny Wang Fang. Today, we divided our comments into three parts. First, I'm in charge of their, their stage performance. Cindy will focus on their PPT design, and Fanny will focus. Will talk about their vocabulary parts and make a brief conclusion. Now, first, they make contact with the audience, including keeping strong eye contact, using proper gestures, and asking questions to maintain audience interest. Moreover. Practice makes perfect. I think they are all well prepared and will organize so they don't let the nervousness affect their presentation and their personal stage performance. They now they look more professional and more confident. So I think pre mm, presenting our presentation now is a piece of cake for them. Now I'll give, give the floor to Cindy. Hello everyone, I'm Cindy Wen Hui. I'm in charge of PPT's part. I think they put a lot of effort on making PPT and their PPT is very great. They use highlights in on the on the collocation in the scenario part so that I can be aware of it. Also they use different color to separate definitions and the example in the vocabulary part and it is a very thoughtful design. Also, their PPT is very delicate. They use many cute pictures in the PPT. Also, they use many anim animations in the PPT. So, it, the PPT is very vivid. Uh, 
uh, for example, in a discussion one, they use an uh, image of the road and show the answer with animation and footprint image. It is a very creative design and I like it very much. Next, I will give the floor to Fanny. Hi everyone, my name is Fanny Wong I'm going to talk about their vocabulary part and make a brief conclusion. In their vocabulary part, they give us the meaning, examples, and also give the Kenya and nut. Kenya and nut in Chinese is KK in Bell. And this is this will give us a clear idea of the pronunciation of the words. I think there was a group to do this before, and group two is is very attentive. And in conclusion, we have made comment on their stage performance, PPT, and vocabulary part. We think group two did a great job, and they're very professional. So let's give them a big hand. So this is the end of our comments. Now I'll give the floor to group two. special questions for you. Does anyone notice that there are three kinds of fruits that appear in our PowerPoint? Three kinds of what? Fruit. Water, man. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to match the this kind of fruit to the three of us. Bird? Did you say bird? Uh, fruit. This is my 
my second time to work with Sammy and Sophie. Um, I really appreciate the time that we work together. During our discussion, they are always full of laughter. And I think um, Sammy has a lot of brilliant ideas. Adding the cute film icon is an idea. She said that maybe it can let our presentation become more interesting. And for Sophie's part, she is responsible. She types out the script before we have the discussion. And it really helped us save a lot of time when we make the PowerPoint. And because of their ideas and effort, our presentation went smoothly. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Sophie Tai Now I'm going to talk about my deck. First I want to thank Dr. Dr. Please. Thanks I want first I want to thank Dr. Lam Good for this opportunity that I can work with Sammy and share it again. And they are very creative and professional. So I learned a lot from them, so I become more confident, and they help me a lot with the grammar that I can make a complete sentence. And this is the end of my feedback. Now I'm going to look forward to Sammy. Good morning, my name is Sammy Nicole. As for my feedbacks, um, I just want to say that this is the second time we work together, so I'm trying to make the, pre the preparation more interesting. And there's, there's really a lot of things going on when we prepare for this presentation. Like yesterday, we stay here late, and the, it get darker outside. <laughs> and three of us get very scared. It's scared. So when <laughs> my zombie open the door, and the children trying to open the door at the same time, <laughs> they scare each other. <laughs> so. So, um, trying to make this presentation more interesting at the same time. I'm trying to prepare more to make this presentation complete. Um, so, this is the end of my feedback. Thank you. Very considerable, and their PPT is very 
delicate. They use cute pictures and animations. For examples, their discussion parts, they use a road image and they show the answer with full screen pictures. It is very creative design. I like it very much. Next, I will give the floor to Fei. Hi, my name is Fei Yuan Huang. I'm going to talk about their vocabulary part and make a brief conclusion. In their vocabulary part, they give us the meaning examples and also give the Kenya and not. Kenya and not in Chinese is KK in Bell. This will give us a clear idea clear idea of the pronunciation of the words. I think there wasn't a group to, to do this before and group two is very attentive. In conclusion, we have made comments on their stage performance, PPT and vocabulary part. We think group two did a great job and they are very professional. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you. 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 Thank you.